Well, with me now is Michael Claffer, executive chairman of Vape Stick, a company that manufactures electronic cigarettes. Thanks very much indeed for coming along to talk to us, Michael. Uh, do you agree with Catherine Devlin? I'm presuming you're going to say yes when she says it's a bad day for public health. Yeah, well, I agree. I think medicines regulation is the wrong way to go. Um, you know, as Catherine pointed out, uh, electronic cigarettes are regulated at the moment. And I think what's better required is uh, more enforcement of the existing regulations that are in place to ensure that manufacturers, companies do confirm what's in the liquid is in the liquid and that their components are safe and they're certified and you know, they introduce a, a, a no under 18 policy. Oh, well, that's a big part of the problem, isn't it? Because the, the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency is saying that the government has concluded that e-cigarettes, I'll quote them, do not meet appropriate standards of safety, quality and efficacy. Well, I think that's a big generalisation. Um, as founding board members of ACETA, um, all of its members have to undertake routine testing on all of our liquid, all of our components, to ensure that they're safe and that the, accurate, uh, the measurements are accurate inside the cartridges. Uh, and I think that if other companies, non-ACETA members perhaps, were enforced as well and checked, then I think that we would find a, a standardisation of quality across the market. Uh, you know, we've heard from some very eminent people in the medical world saying today that these e-cigarettes probably are a good thing, certainly compared to standard cigarettes, which is, we know kills so many people. But do you think medical regulation is actually going to put people off using e-cigarettes? Yeah, I think that there's a danger that if you try and over-regulate something, um, you know, if you look at the, the currently approved medical uh, uh, therapies, nicotine replacement therapies, uh, they have a dismal success rate, you know, somewhere like 5 to 7% success rate. And if you try and make an electronic cigarette into a medical device where perhaps you have controlled doses or it, you change, uh, you have a standardised look to the product, standardised flavours, then it will take away one of the things that make them so appealing to smokers in the first place, uh, which is the ability to use it as and when you would like to, uh, as a direct alternative and replacement for tobacco smoking. Would this sort of regulation also make them more expensive? I mean, I, I don't know what the, the differential is now between standard cigarettes and e-cigarettes. E-cigarettes are, are cheaper, aren't they? Yeah, e-cigarettes are, depending on which brand you switch to and from, are somewhere in the region of 70% cheaper than an equivalent tobacco habit. So, so uh, even this regulation, would that, would that bring the price up to something comparable to traditional cigarettes? I think it would have to go a long, long way to be comparable to traditional cigarettes. And I also think it would be a political faux pas to a degree to make something that's orders of magnitude safer than tobacco as expensive by way of taxation as the very thing it's trying to replace. Look, critics would say, you know, whether it's a cigarette, whether it's an e-cigarette, it's, it's sort of creating, trying to create an allure that smoking something is somehow attractive and glamorous. What do you say to them? I'd say the exact opposite. I'd say that we should be encouraging and public policy should be encouraging the normalisation of vaping um, because if everybody that's smoking becomes attracted to vaping instead, uh, then the value to public health would be absolutely enormous. Just in a line, I mean, would you fight this through the courts if medical regulation does go ahead? Because that's happened in some countries, hasn't it? Well, it has, and I suggest that there, almost certainly, yes, that would be looked at. OK, Michael Clapper, Executive Chairman of Vape Stick. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, just to let you know that in the